So whenever I start any lecture, before we get into any details, I'd like to just bring up something I call the Skip Commandments. And there's really three, or arguably four. The commandments are, number one, sunscreen, broad spectrum, UVA and UVB protection. Um, UVA travels through clouds and also through car windows. Number two is retinol. A type of retinol is healthy for the skin, helps to remove cells, and should be used you know, accordingly, not, not during the middle of the day. And number three is antioxidants. So whether it's your dietary intake or a topical antioxidant, it's, it's important. Uh, and the fourth one is you know, a full body check by either a board certified dermatologist or a competent general doctor or whoever you're comfortable working with. So with that being said, let's move forward. So when we talk about damage, photo damage, skin cancers, how you'll figure out in the sun, um, there's Fitzpatrick types, there's type one through six, and a lot of providers are under the impression that we're referring to that we're referring to just your skin color. So type one would be a patient who always burns, never tans. Uh, type two always burns, sometimes tans. Then it becomes type three, sometimes burns, always tans. That would be someone like myself. Type four, minimal burning, always tanning well, and then five and six, we're getting to rare, rare burns and profuse tanning, and then never, never, never burn, tan profusely. Type one and two are relevant in uh, some of the upcoming uh, parts of the presentation. So, sun damage. There are multiple factors involved with sun damage. Uh, skin type, particularly skin types one and two. Cumulative sun exposure. So, you know, the largest amount of sun exposure that patients accumulate is before the age of 20. So it's about 80% of it. So cumulative sun exposure is, is a big factor in sun, sun damage. What's done is done. The intensity of the sun, the sun intensity is greatest between 10 and 4 p.m., 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. The age of exposure we already discussed and unknowns. So, so would we qualify? Um, would we qualify as evidence of sun damage? Well, micros under the microscope and for histology, we're able to see specific types of changes and damages, but on a clinical level, there's solar lentigines, which are essentially sunspots. They can develop on the face, you can get them on the chest, neck, arms, hands, legs. <clears throat> now, as a child, you see freckles, that's a, and, and they've brightened up, that may be the first sign of moving forward, that they're at risk for developing these these uh, lentigines. Photoaging. So photoaging involves both the cosmetic appearance and telangiectasias and, and hyperpigmentation, hypopigmentation. And like I said, it's more UVA than UVB that contributes to photoaging. Then there's telangiectasias, which are essentially little blood vessels. And uh, actinic keratoses, and solar elastosis, which is more of a microscopic term. So here you can see on the first slide, telangiectasias, they're very common on the nose, and uh, they tend to be caused by trauma or sun. They can be treated, they can be treated with lasers, they can be, you can just prevent new, new sites by using your sunscreen regularly, but you know, it's inevitable. And for some reason, it's localized more around the nose. In the second photo, actinic keratoses. Actinic keratoses are essentially crusty spots that you feel on top of your skin. They should not be confused with separate keratoses. 
Uh, actinic keratoses are just literally one millimeter papules that are crust, crusted, and we treat that with liquid nitrogen. Next is what we just discussed, the sunspots. Solar lentigos. This patient happens to have them on his face. So, moving along, we talk about types of skin cancers. Uh, for all intents and purposes, there's three main types of skin cancers. There's basal cell, which is a cancer of the basal layer of the skin. There's, that's the most common type. 80% of patients have some type of a basal cell. Uh, there's multiple subtypes. Some are more aggressive than others. There's a superficial, morpheiform, ulcerative, um, or the most common is nodular. So 80% of the patients, and they develop the